Now that we have a frame for our x-axis, we can transform it into an actual linear actuator by adding linear guide rails and a bolt screw. The kit I showed from Amazon is the Vibor AGR20 1000mm linear slide with RM1605 bolt screw. As you can see, the kit will include the rails, the four AGR20 trucks, the bolt screw nut block with the BF12 and BK12 bolt beaten pillow blocks, as well as the bolt screw and chaff coupler. First item you will want to assemble is the bolt screw nut block. For this purpose, 6 and 5 0.8 16mm screws were employed. We can now fully assemble the bolt screw by adding the two pillow blocks. The order is not important, so I will go ahead and add the BK12 and then the locking nut. Finally, we will position the BF12 bearing block and lock it in place with a retaining ring clip. Your truck is secure with a plastic protector. Do not remove this or all balls will fly into oblivion. You will want to carefully slide the truck into the slide while making sure the protector slides out of the truck. Repeat with the second truck, but while ensuring the grease ports are not impacted. Repeat the process for the second slide, and might I recommend you keep the plastic tabs in case you ever need to remove the trucks. The linear guide components are ready to be assembled. The easiest one is the BF12 pillow block. Simply use 2020 extrusion T-nuts and two M5 0.8mm pitch 35mm long screws to secure the module in place. It is hard to see, but the T-nuts are designed to rotate until they grab into the extrusion, securing the connection. Do not tighten yet though, as we need to calibrate the axis at a later time. How about the BK12 block? Here is where the extrusion failed to provide. As you can see, there is no practical way of attaching the BK12 into a 2040 extrusion strut. The holes do not align, more than two holes are needed, it is not going to fly. This is why a special aluminum block had to be designed. The width is exactly the same as the BK12, the length the same as the struts, and the threads spacing perfect so the lead screw is exactly in center. Four of the same 35mm long screws will be used to secure the PK12 into the aluminum block. What remains now is the tedious task of adding multiple M5 0.8 14mm long socket head screws into the slides along with an equal amount of 2020 T-nuts. Then simply place the slide into the extrusion and bolt away. Here you go, an almost complete X-axis. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, I'll be seeing you on the next one.